Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Cancer. We have the High Priestess. Pisces energy. We have the Empress, Taurus energy. There's the Divine Feminine. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taming Hunger. Clarify how the High Priestess. The Nine of Wands. Hmm. I'm telling you, somebody's into... <laughs> this is been coming through in the collective reading, but somebody's intuition is like pinging them. You guys are probably dealing with a twin. That right when you're like, feel like you're about ready to move on from them and let them completely go, they come back. And that's what's about to happen here. This person feels like you're letting them go a little too much. They feel it. Yeah, wishing, replaying events, suffering in silence. So some of you guys are still, either somebody is is wishing for you or the divine feminine is kind of like, you're doing a lot of like maybe thinking about what this person did. Like you cannot stop thinking about what this person did to you or vice versa. King of Wands or what they did to you. Yeah, it's hard moment. Something's about to be, something unexpected is about to happen when it comes to possibly a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sad. Doesn't have to be any specific sign, but that's what I'm seeing coming out here. Um, Scorpio energy with the tower. Either there's there's something unexpected that this person's about to do or this person is having, is something is happening to them that they're not expecting. Claim about the taming hunger. We have forbidden. Yeah, why does somebody feel like they can't, they feel like they want to come towards you, but they're trying to resist coming towards you? For some of you, it could be because they feel like you guys are too different or they feel like there's some people that like their friends, their family, whatever, don't approve of you. I don't know. So we're going to get more clarity, but we have, it's time on the back of the deck. See somebody, what did I just see? Ripped apart. Yeah. It's getting to that point where somebody doesn't feel like they can resist change any longer because yeah. Yeah. Divine intervention. No more running. Yeah, somebody res was resisting this for way too long. So I feel like the divine is intervening now. Yeah, bring it in a tower moment. What is the tower? Yeah, it's like somebody is, It's like somebody can't run from healing and growing anymore. They've been running, but the divine's like, oh, no, we're going to put an end to this right now. All right, so talk about the high priestess and the nine of wands. The lovers. What about the lovers? Car Ooh, so this is somebody that's had a decision to make between you and somebody else. What does this have to do with my collective, though? Divine timing, patience is needed, surrender to the unknown. So you guys are, I'm telling you, you're surrendering. The page, it's like almost like the more you guys let go, the more attractive you become to this person, the more they want to, the more appealing you are to them, the more magnetic you are to this person. But they definitely have a choice between you and some type of other karmic situation or partner. All right. So I do feel like you're about to, like I said, hear from this person because they feel like you are about to let them go completely. We we have the Nine of Wands here. The Nine of Wands comes right before the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is the ending, the release. They know that you're very close to this. So I feel like they're about to try to come in here. And uh, they're feeling very drawn to you at this time. But you guys are like, you, you're definitely surrendering. You're just giving it to the divine. Like, all right, this is in your hands now. I've done all that I can. Tell me about the Empress and the Wishing card. The Eight of Pentacles working on what? The Ten of Cups. What's up in my collective? The Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Two of Swords. See, somebody is trying to, is really doing a lot of thinking about whether or not they want to really put the work into building this family with you or this happily ever after with you. Why are they think? why they got to think so hard about it though? Yeah, they're going through the dark night of the soul. Two of Wands, they're still trying to figure it out. There's somebody is literally, they view you as their wish fulfillment. They do know that they could be happy with you, but... They do want another chance, too, with judgment here. But Spirit says you cannot trust this person right now. Why? Yeah, keep your boundaries in place. They're going to want to spend some time with you, but you and this person need more time apart. They just don't want to lose you. Yeah, they want you back. They don't want you to get away too far away from them. They want you to wait on them. I feel like you guys have already waited quite a bit, like a long time for them already. You shouldn't have to wait any longer for this person. You shouldn't have ever had to wait for them, period. All right, so... Well, they don't know which path they want to go down. 
What is this tower moment? What is the tower? Divine intervention, unexpected events. Five of wands, some type of unexpected conflict when it came to children. Oh, children affecting your connection. Does something happen? Something happened in this masculine's life in regards to children that they weren't expecting. Let's elaborate on that. Four of Pentacles. Holding on to what? Coming out victorious. What does children have to do with anything? Two of Pentacles. Juggling. Balance being restored. This person's trying to figure out what the right thing to do is. They don't know. Why is the Five of Wands here, though? What is this conflict? The Ten of Wands. See? Oh. See, they, I told you the Nine, the Ten. Maybe their intuition is telling them that they need to release something. Two. Yeah, I feel like someone's intuition is telling them it's time to let it go. It's time to let something go. Well, how did the children, but they're holding on to it. Yeah, with the Four of Pentacles. But whatever the situation is, it's a lot of conflict, a lot of opposite. There's people maybe even working against them, letting this go. Why is children, what, how does children relate to this? The three of pentacles, love at work. Projects with about three of pentacles, straight to what? Close out a cycle. Yep, it's something to do with, so there's children involved. Seven of swords, oof, what about seven of swords? It's time for what? It, it's like this person wouldn't make up their mind. They couldn't get out of their head about it. So the divine's like, all right, well, we're going to intervene and make up their mind, make up your mind for you. And what did they do? What was the divine intervention? What did it look like? The four of wands. What about the four of wands? See, if they were in a commitment with somebody, what happened here? Unawakened, doesn't it? So what happened with the ghosting? What about the four of wands, though? The king of swords, that clarity, that what? Whoa, king of cups. Something's changing. What is changing when it comes to this situation? Someone's getting karma here. It's almost like you guys changed. Yeah, with the mirroring on the back of the deck. You're like kind of like mirroring this person's energy. Like if they're closed off, you are too. If you, if they're, it's, I don't know. I want to know though what the children aspect is. What is ghosting too? Clarify ghosting. Okay. What is this? The Hierophant. What does that do with ghosting? Temperance. See, it's like almost like this person disappeared on you or something like that, but they thought that they could come back. Like they disappeared on you. Could have been a Taurus that you were dealing with or a Sag. It's like they go. What is the Hierophant? The Eight of Wands. The Hanged Man and the Ten of Pentacles. Now somebody's wanting commitment with you. Why? Now they're thinking long term. Why now? They've been hiding their feelings. Feeling They feel insecure. Why? Why do they feel insecure now? They're feeling, feeling very vulnerable. The Knight of Pentacles. Mirroring. It's like you're matching this person's energy. Yeah. Mirroring each other in what way? You guys are both awakening. Or surrendering. Why are they feeling insecure though? What does this four of wands have to do with that? See, why do this, these two cards keep coming out together? The four of wands and ghosting. Marriage and elusive no closure. They still feel like you're the one that they want to settle down with. Like even if they ghosted you or whatever they did, they didn't have any intention for this to be over. What's, so what now? But yeah, cold as ice. That was Is this person has some really bad ways and some really bad habits and they're very inconsiderate and they, exactly it's like this person may be telling you that they want to settle down with you but at the same time they keep ghosting you why they're sending you mixed signals why why are they doing this it's because they're hiding something seven of swords and they're they, they either ghost you to go cheat they're what are they lying about the fool. See, it's like when they say that they want this new beginning with you, they're not really being serious with you. What are they hiding? See, the king of swords. What? What? Wheel of fortune. Something's changing, though. See, sexual encounter. Yep. This person may lie to you. They may tell you that they want to settle down with you just so that they can have a sexual encounter with you. 
they, they're doing this out of lustful intent and then they ghost you again. Why are they ghosting them? So they come in with lustful page of cups. Why do they ghost them? This is like with the, the hair thought, this is habitual. This is something that they do all, all the time, or they've done this to you multiple times. It's like a pattern. Divine time scene. It's like they're trying to string out another situation. Like they keep trying to like do this to kind of keep you strung along. Keep you in their back pocket. While they are like wanting you to be patient with, they have some type of codependent situation that they got going on with this karmic partner. So about karmic partner. Yeah, they're still learning lessons when that situation separation is. They got to leave that other situation. But before they can leave that other situation, they got to learn the lesson they're supposed to learn from that karmic situation. Yeah, what about the sun? Yeah, there's some type of growth that they're supposed to go through in that situation. Yeah, they're conflicted. Ten of swords. Ace of swords. What's the clarity here? Breakthrough. Ten of wands. They're realizing that they need to let something go. I feel like they've been really conflicted about this, but something is giving them some type of clarity that they are lead, they're going to release the other situation. What is giving them that clarity? The hermit. I feel like, because didn't that come out for you guys? Or it's just be, through soul searching and solitude and introspecting, they're realizing this Virgo energy. Yep, nine of pentacles. They're withdrawing from something here. They're finally having the strength to do this, overcoming their obstacles. But why is undecided here? The moon. They have fears holding them back. They do want to. They do want this relationship with you, but they're scared. Why? Ace of Wands. Why are they scared when it comes to the collective? They do. They love you. They want. They have passion for you. But why is the Seven of Wands here? Maybe this person knows, too, that it's not going to be easy for them to come back into your life. They do feel like you're moving on from them, like I already figured out. Yeah. Why do they feel? Ten of the Seven of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. They know that to come back towards you, though, they're going to have to give you something balanced. And they know to be able to give you something balanced, they're going to have to walk away from something. They're going to have to leave the past in the past. And they've been definitely resisting letting this go. But they could also not be letting... So that's how they've been playing these games with you. Because they know who you are. They know how they feel about you. But you also scare them. And they've been just like kind of one foot in, one foot out the door of another situation. They definitely have been playing games with you. Yeah, three of swords. They keep hurting you. They... It's like, I feel like you guys, for you may know about this third party now, but at some point you didn't. It's like, of course they weren't going to come and tell you like, hey, like, so I have another person that I'm not really let, re ready to completely leave. So I'm going to have to just keep stringing you along until I'm ready. Like, they weren't going to come in and tell you that. So this person keeps playing these mind games with you. They come in and get what they want from you, whether it's sex or just uh, advice or just to spend some time with you, whatever it is. And then they leave and they go back to whatever they've got going on in that other situation. Or go back to trying to figure out what to do about that other situation. What is the... So, tell me about... Why are they trying to stay away from with this taming hunger and forbidden? Why do they feel like my collective is forbidden? It's because you've forbidden. You've, you've done this. I'm telling you. This person knows that it's not going to be easy to get you back. You guys have let, set, laid out some type of, like, ground rules here or some boundaries. And... um. They know that they're going to have to fight to get you back. It's like they know that they can't come in and be 100% on the same page as you. So they've been trying to stay away from you. So are they going to continue to stay away or what? Yeah, they're in regret. They're like, they're sad over this. They're sad that you set these boundaries. Yep. Play more. Yep, because they were being lustful. Yeah. Something about Knight of Wands. Aries Leo Sag energy. The Five of Wands. Conflict. The star healing from what the worst is over a page of swords they're watching you i'm telling you for some of you i'm also getting a download that this person's starting to worry because you're no longer fighting with them you're no longer chasing them you're no longer trying to make this work and bickering with them or whatever that's making them nervous and i feel like this person's watching you heal they're watching you have hope and optimism and they may even try to come in and try to start arguing with you what is this the eight of pentacles working on what Nine of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups, Justice. You guys walked away from this person out of self-love. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they feel very drawn to you. But you walked away because and it, it's restoring balance. You walking away because this person was just being very, yeah, what's the lovers? Gemini energy, two of swords. They can't make up their mind. Why? 
Well, wait. Yeah, it's like they want you to put your life on hold while they take forever and a lifetime to, to offer you this commitment that you really deserve. And I feel like you need to be careful with letting this person come back into your life, especially if they're coming towards you trying to fight with you. What are they coming in to argue about? Because I do see that. They're coming in. They don't know. This is their version of putting in some type of work or effort to show you that they're still thinking about you, that you they're still interested in you. Is they, They're toxic. Why are they coming in to fight with the collective? The queen of, because they, yeah, something about the queen of cups. What about it? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What a catch because they know they love you. They know they feel very drawn to you. They, 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 they feel like you're, you got healing energy. Yeah. Wanting to conquer you. Fear of losing you. Yeah. They know that you are the one that actually love them. All right. The one that, yeah. For some of you, they think that you have a new person with this. Yeah. For some of you, they think you have a new person you're dealing with. But yeah, they're coming in because they don't want to lose you. But it's like the way that they're approaching you with that five of wands, four of pentacles, they're going to be still like they're feeling very insecure. So this is like the only way that they maybe know how to approach you at this time and want to maintain some type of control. They don't want to lose you, but the, they know you're a catch. They don't want to lose you. Yeah, there's the queen of wands again. Let's do it my collective though. Children. See, there's somebody else that they're still holding on to and there's children involved. Yeah, feeling insecure, though. What does children have to do about this, though? I'm going to get a magician. Want you, want, want you. What does that have to do with children, though? Judgment and page of pentacles. Yeah, youthful energy. This person's childish. That's what it is. <laughs> with the children card, this person is childish. And it makes them feel very insecure because they feel like you are very, you're a force here. Yeah. What about this page of pentacles? The eight of wands. Ace of swords. This person's becoming very vulnerable here. With the ace of swords, the eight of wands, and the ripped apart. Yeah, why? What is causing this? That's what I want to know. Three of wands. The six of swords. It's you guys. Yeah, you're cutting tight. Yeah. You're moving on from them. Yeah, you, this person hurts you. Yeah, painful ending betrayal. You ended things with them. And you're trying to manifest something better. You're doing you're healing. I'm telling you. Cleaning up. Clean up. Six of swords, three of swords. You're manifesting. You're exploring the unknown. Yeah, you're ready to move on from them. I'm telling you. And they're they they're they're yeah, helplessness. Feeling trapped. They can they're ipping their head about this. Why do they feel helpless though? There's somebody that they're work. What about this? There's a third party here. What about the rejection and the male ego resisting the connection? Seven of Swords, see? Again. Lessons. What is the Seven of Swords? Taming emotions. This person wants to hide their feelings for you out of their ego. That's what this is. This person is hiding their feelings. We, we had that card come out. I don't know where it's at now. But we had that hiding feelings card or hidden emotions, whatever that card says. This person is trying to hide how much they want you. How much they look. Why, though? I don't get it. Seven of Pentacles. Why are they hiding their emotions from the collective? Because they're not sure about it. They're just not. They feel them. But they don't. They're not sure if what. It's almost like this person's not sure if they're ready to release something. And they're not sure if they're ready to be able to, like. They need to heal from the past. And to heal from the past, they got to release the past, right? They got to let it go. They got to walk away from it to heal. They can't They can't heal in the same environment that wounded them. Um, it's almost like this person doesn't want to, doesn't feel like they can love you as much as you are able to or something like that. I don't know, y'all. <sighs> Tell me more about what's going on here. Their ego is like, for some reason, they're resisting telling you how they really feel about you. So we have marriage. Yeah, this is how they really feel about you. And they're like trying to hide this from you. It's like they don't want to express this to you, but they don't want to let you go either. They see you as, as marriage material. Someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. All right, we have release. I told you. Oh, so they did they release you? Or you release them. When they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. Yeah, they're also trying to play it off like they don't care that the two of you have been in separation or something like that. Yep, uprooting. 
they are leaving all that is familiar to them or a long term relationship to start a brand new life with you. It's almost like this person feeling your absence is giving them that final push to leave something behind. Like that's probably what I'm going to name this reading. It's like they needed to feel the sting of your absence to be able to finally make this decision to leave whatever this was in their life. It could be a long term partner that they've been with or it's just been their comfort zone, their safe space that's toxic. But they had to uh, leave this situation. And to be able to build to build a strong foundation with you, they're going to have to uproot this other foundation. Yeah, mysterious one. They, I told you, they feel very drawn to you. The mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and engaged. Very different from the rest. Yeah, lustful desires. There's a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. unsighted mm -hmm. they're unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity they brought into the connection because that's all that they know old wounds yeah because this is how they were that's why children keeps coming out too like this situation with you is really bringing up a lot of childhood wounds for them it's bringing it up so that they can heal and they can release it heal from the past heal from their childhood because a lot of the reason why this situation has played out like this between you and this person is because they had a like something happened when they were a child and they haven't ever healed it or faced it. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. Yeah. But they haven't even really been able to see how toxic it was because they, that's just all that they've ever really known. But now that they're going through this dark night of the soul, they're going through a lot of upheaval here. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. Yeah, mixed signals. Yep, that already came out too. That cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. But they definitely, so they play games. They didn't take you very seriously. But it's like now they're starting to feel very foolish. Yeah, they feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to come forward. But I told you, yeah, this person's about to come in and start trying to compete for you or fight for you. Or, or I told you for some of you, it's something about this. They're going to try to come in and put in some type of effort, but it's like, they're going to come in very, like, aggressively or, like, very, like, uh, argumentative or something like that. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. Yeah, beauty and grace. They find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. Yeah, I think I already touched on that. Yeah, we do have twin flame here. Yep, they, they view you as very powerful. Yeah, and it scared them. They're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together. Well, it did. See, they were like, it's like, they were kind of just like, they weren't, I told you earlier. This person was not, the divine was nudging them and telling them what to do. They were being stubborn. They were resisting. And then the, and like, they, they were kind of just leaving it up to chance and the divine did intervene or something like that. Like the divine did step in, but this separation was necessary. Yeah. This ending they're sad over you, I'm telling you. They weren't expecting to feel this way. This person thought they could like go, but there's a situation that they're in because of money or stability. And it's like, they think they can go over there and like spend some time over there and then they feel like they can come back to you or something like that. Tell me about unexpected. A breakthrough, an unexpected breakthrough, boundaries. Oh, was this person not expecting your boundaries or they won't be expecting your boundaries? But these boundaries are creating or triggering a breakthrough here. They love you. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Chance expect communication real soon. One more. We have unspoken love. Yep, they've had this love for you all the time. All all this time. Look at this. The mask and unspoken love. They have been hiding their feelings from you, but you're about to hear from them. But they look like they're still pretty resistant. They still need some time away from you. Yeah, they still need some time away from you. They've been carrying it towards for you all along, but unable to confess their love due to fear of rejection. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. See, that's what it is. That you may not hear from this person yet. And the reason why you may not hear from them just yet is because they're still resisting coming in and doing completely right by you. It's like their ego won't let them do it. They know that, that they have to come in and be more vulnerable with you and express their feelings and emotions to you. They're not ready to do it. That's what's holding them back from sending, hitting that send button or sending you that message. They, they're still resisting. But they're going to do it at some point. 
They need time to answer the call of their soul and step into higher levels of consciousness. Yep, time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. You have past life here. Yep. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they'd been waiting for. So this person knew that you knew from the beginning that, like, of your relationship that you were the one. So they're about to take a leap of faith here. But they, they are very well aware that they have to do right by you. Yep, the divine definitely intervened. They are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on the connection. But yep, they did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. So see, you know what also, it's like something is happening where the divine intervened like on your behalf or something like that. And it's like, you guys like made the decision to walk away because you listened to your intuition or you listened to the nudges from the divine. Yeah, you listened to your gut. You decided to walk away or even if they walked away from you, you have been choosing to stay away from them because you feel like that's what your intuition is telling you to do. And this was like some form of divine intervention. And by you, it's like the divine has been keeping you away from this person, whether it's just they've been guiding you to stay away from them or whatever it is. But it's like they've been guiding you to stay away from this person and to stand firm in your boundaries. Because while it's given this person a lot of clarity, it's actually a tower moment for this person that you're no longer reaching out to them you're no longer caving in you know give, giving into what they want you to do they've been waiting for you to come back yeah they search for you and everything feel you everywhere always in the back of their mind hoping they run into you but i don't think that you guys have been doing that yeah they know they're starting to feel very pressured to make this decision between you and whatever this is because they feel like they're running out of time. They feel like it's a very high risk right now that they're about to lose you forever. Like I said at the very beginning of this reading, their intuition is telling them that you're about ready to completely throw on the towel or the chances of them ever being able to be with you or have something with you is becoming very slim. It's becoming very slim. It's becoming